Hey, what's up, guys? And welcome back to another video. Um, so before we get into today's video topic, um, I hope you like. I hope you guys liked yesterday's video. I hope you guys, or I'm, sh I'm sure. I hope some of you guys checked out the stuff I put in the links of the description. Um, all that stuff is great. I like all of it, and um, I hope you enjoyed going over my gear with me. So yeah, that's probably about it. Um, stick around for today's quote. You're gonna like it. Trust me, it's gonna be a good one. So, um, yeah, guys, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So, in today's video, I want to talk about some of my dream races that I would love to run and win one day. Um, these races include the Olympic Marathon, or really any Olympic, um, or the Olympics in general, um, major marathons, and some other small races, like, uh, I would like to run the High Street Mile that I tend to run every year, well, except last year, because of a pandemic that shut the whole world down. Um, I would also like to win the Fountain of the Road Race and um, the Bay State Half Marathon and Marathon. Uh, the Bay State Half Marathon was the, my first half marathon ever, and it will probably be my first marathon ever, most likely. So I want to win those too. And um, a couple, if I come up with a couple other small races that I would like to run, I will also share those with you guys. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, that's probably about it for this intro. And let's now get right into the video. All right, guys, so in this first section of the video, I would like to talk about making the Olympic team in my dream races, which are the 5,000, either the 5,000, the 10,000, or the marathon, and um, winning one of them. The one I really want to win is the marathon. Um, I've had a lot... There's been a lot of great athletes who won the marathon, and you haven't had really a U.S. male athlete win it for a long time. So I want to be, um, I want to inspire the next generation, and I want to be one of the few male to ever win the Olympic marathon. Um, so yeah, uh, some of my favorite athletes have come to win the Olympic marathon, to come to from the Olympic marathon, such as Elliot Kipchoge. Um, he he won. The Olympic Marathon in Rio 2016. So, um, yeah, I really want to make the team one day and win the marathon and uh, inspire the next generation and with a gold medal around my neck. Uh, how I plan to get there? I plan to get there by basically training hard, um, having some good seasons throughout even high school and college, and maybe even making it pro. Um, Making it pro means that I would have, like, I would get sponsored to run, which I love to do. So it'd be like the it'd be the greatest job ever, and I could still do YouTubing along with that. So um, yeah, I would. I'm definitely gonna work hard. Uh, I hope to have some good high school and college seasons to make it here. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the marathon. And if I don't make the marathon, let's talk about my next two events that I would hope to make, either the 5,000 or the 10,000 meters on the track. Um, so the 5,000 or 10,000 is also a very difficult event to make. You have some really good U.S. runners going up against you in these in these disciplines and events. Uh, they're both very grueling events as well. They can make you or break you. Uh, I mean, 25 laps around the track for a 10,000 is not sometimes isn't the most enjoyable thing, but when you win the gold, it, it evens out to be pretty enjoyable after. So, yeah, um, that's, that's kind of my thoughts. Again, if I don't make the marathon team, I want to, I'll work hard. Most of my high school and college season are going to be on the track. I don't think my coaches will even allow me to run a ton of marathons or half marathons because I'll be training for probably the 5,000, maybe the 10,000 if I get into college. But a lot of times they don't even have the 10,000. They might have, they have like 10,000 cross country races, which I also hope um, to win those two. But they don't have a ton of like, they don't have like a ton of, um, sorry, they don't have a ton of 10Ks. Uh, really, the only time you're going to find the 10Ks on the roads. So, or no, sorry, on the, on cross country. You will find it on the roads, but I won't run a ton of road running in college. So yeah, um, that's probably it for that. And uh, yeah, guys, so that's probably it for Olympic races. And let's now move on to the next block. All 
All right, guys. So in this next block, I want to talk about some of the major marathons I would like to win. Um, the main, I mean, of course, I want to win all of them, but the main major marathons I want to win are the Boston Marathon, the Chicago Marathon, the New York Marathon, the London Marathon, the Berlin Marathon. So pretty much six out of the seven of them, which means all of them. I would also like to win Tokyo. So really... So let me narrow it down for you guys now. The Bo Boston, Berlin, London, Chicago. Those are the four that I would really like to win. New York and Tokyo, I would like to win all of them, but I think Boston, Chicago, Berlin, London are probably the ones I want to win the most, mostly because a lot of, I mean, Berlin was the place where um, Eli Kipchoge broke the marathon world record, so that's a definitely a one I want to win. Um, and a lot of these marathons haven't had a ton of male winners for the past couple of years. I mean, even Boston hasn't had a male winner for seven years now. So it's all basically East African dominated. So I would like to be one of the few males to ever win the Boston Marathon. Um, but yeah, uh, so I would like to be one of the few males to win the Boston Marathon. Like the Olympic Marathon, I want to inspire the next generation to... Um, get into running and like running a lot and um do a lot of running uh yeah so that's probably it for the boston marathon um chicago same way same with berlin london um all these marathons i want to inspire the next generation with all of these because it's not i don't do running i don't, I don't want to become pro because i want to earn a ton of money i want to become pro because i love the sport and I want to keep doing the sport for the rest of my life. Uh, inspiring the next generation, yes. But the, the, those are probably the main two things. Enjoying the sport and inspiring people to try out the sport. I don't do it for the money. I don't do it for the medals. It's all about enjoy, and it's all about the love of the sport. Again, I like to use, the, I like the money and I like the medals, but it's not the most important part. Um... But yeah, so how I plan to get to these marathons, again, train hard for the rest of my life. Uh, I do a ton of road running, as you guys know right now. Uh, I, I am in track season, so I have to basically, it's hard because I have to train for road running, but I also have to train for my track seasons. And we all know track and road running, they're completely different because track is more of a speed type thing. Whereas road running is a lot more of, um, you need speed, but you need a lot more distance. So I have to keep it balanced between, I need to do the speed workouts to get my speed for the track, but I also need to do those long runs to get that, um, to get the distance for the half marathon and the marathon. So it's hard sometimes to balance those two because, um, I just, it's, it's hard because when you're trying to train for track season, and especially when you have different races coming up. I mean, I have a road race coming up, but then I have three track meets all in the same month, uh, in Ju this, this month in Jul this coming month in July. So it's gonna, it's really hard. And then once again in October, I have more road races. So once it gets into the fall, it's all about road racing and then cross country. So it's like, it's gonna be hard, but even track, Track is going to help me benefit to win these marathons because you need the speed to be able to keep up with, like, the front leaders, especially if you're going to turn elite. Um, elite marathoners need a ton of speed. That's why a lot of training revolves around either long running or speed workouts. Those are, like, the two combinations that go together perfectly for the marathon because the speed comes in, but you also have to be able to hold that speed for, I mean, two-plus hours. So it gets hard sometimes to even be able to hold that speed. Never mind, run as fast as some do. So, yeah. Um, that's probably going to do it up for the major marathons. Um, all right, guys. And it's probably going to do it up for this block. And let's move on to the next one. All right, guys. And in this next block, I'm going to be talking about high school and college races I would like to run and um, potentially win and hopefully win. Um, some of these races uh, include Foot Locker, which I'm sure a lot of you know is the biggest high school cross country um, race uh, right now, probably ever. 
um, the NCAA Track and Field Championships, which is a college thing. That's a um, championship for track. They also have the um, na- the high school national track and field championships, and they all, which is like basically the NCAA championships, but it's not college. It's a high school thing, and then they have the college and high school nationals. Both have the same thing. So yeah, these are all the races I want to potentially, w- hopefully, win in high school and qual- college, and I will be talking about all of them. Um, so first, let's start off with Foot Locker. So Foot Locker, as I just mentioned, is probably the biggest high school cross country race right now. Um, whether you're freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, you're all put together in um, and you all you're all put together in the race, and you all want to try to make the final. And then when you're in the final, all these high school athletes face off to win the gold. Um, but yeah, a lot of great athletes have been produced and have won Foot Locker. These athletes include pro athletes, and some even became Olympians. Uh, some of the best in the world actually won this. Gold medal winners. So yeah, um, those are... That's pretty much Foot Locker. Um, but yeah, if I could win Foot Locker... If I could win Foot Locker, that'd be like a dream come true because Foot Locker is not an easy thing to win. Even for the seniors, the seniors still have to work really hard to win Foot Locker. Um, it's, it's much harder when you're not a senior, when you're a freshman, say. It's really hard to win Foot Locker because especially when you're competing against seniors who are three years older than you, three years older, three years faster, three years stronger, um, it makes it a lot harder. So, yeah, that's pretty much um, Foot Locker. I... Like every race I've told you about in this video, I want to work really hard to get to this foot, to get this moment. Um, foot Locker is just, it would be a dream come true to be able to actually even run Foot Locker. Never mind win it. I would love to win it, but I would at least want to run it. It's a great race, and um, it's a very competitive race, and I would love to win. So yeah, that's pretty much Foot Locker for me. Um, the Cross Country High School Nationals. So... Let me give you a little background on this one. This one is not as big as Foot Locker, but it is still pretty big. Um, It's like the level down from Foot Locker, basically. Foot Locker is like here, whereas the um, the cross country high school nationals are probably like here. So it it compares because the this is cross country high school cross country nationals. This is Foot Locker. It's like it's just a level above, basically. So yeah, um, high, high, high school national, high, cross country high school nationals. I would also like to win. Um, just like Foot Locker, I want to work really hard to win these. I want to inspire other high school athletes, uh, as they make their journey into high school, uh, run track and cross country, and um, maybe even win this. Uh, I want to inspire everyone. So I would love to win, and I just I love running so much. So it'd be a dream come true to do it. Um, next one, high school track and field championships. Um, so this one is, we're switching over to the track now. This one is basically like the NCAA championships, except it's for high school athletes, not college athletes. Um, this championship is a big championship. You're basically taking all the best track runners, um, from every high school, like basically in the country, you're taking them together, you're putting them in one race, and they're all fighting to win um, gold on the track. Um, my prime event, I would love to, I would love to get into any event, to be honest. But the event I would really like to get into is um, the 15. The 15 is like a really good event for me. I really do. I don't know if they do the 5,000 in high school. I can't remember. I would love to get into the 5,000 if they do. But uh, the 15 would be like an ideal event for me because... Again, the 5,000 is better, but the 15s is still a really good event for me. So, yeah, I would love to win high school championships. Work hard like all the others. Um, we'll work hard for years. Uh, won't give up. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the high school cross country. That's pretty much it for the high school track and field championships. Oh, my God, I have so many words that sound the same. Um, and we're switching over to college side now. Uh Cross country national college, cross country college nationals. Um, this is basically pretty much Foot Locker, except for the college athletes. They don't have two; they only have one. 
Uh, so, yeah, this is pretty much basically at the high school cross-country nationals, except it's for college athletes. Uh, I would love to win this. Um, a lot of these, this race I would even love to win as like a freshman. I don't know if I will, but it'd be really hard to win as a freshman because not a lot of people have. But I would love to win it at any age, really. Winning one of these events would mean so much to me. And um, I'm going to work really hard to get there. I'm going to work really hard to uh, f um, finally do, I want to hope to do win some of these. And uh, if I do, it'll just be, it'll be so cool. It'll be so cool. Um, NCAA Track and Field Championships. As I said, this is basically um, the high school track and field national championships, except it's the NCAA, which um, is for college athletes. Uh, this is, once again, a very competitive race. Um, you're taking really all the best colleges in the, in the nation, bringing them all together, and they're all competing for the gold medal. Uh, they all try to make the finals and compete for the gold medal. So, yeah, I would definitely love to win this race as well. It would be just... It would be a dream come true to win all these races because they're all so competitive and they're all so hard to win that winning them would just be basically the one of the, some of the greatest moments of my life. Uh, I, w I will work hard to get to all of these because to accomplish them, it's not going to be easy. But as um, a wise man once said, I didn't tell you it was going to be easy, but I did tell you it was going to be worth it. And it will be worth it if I do finally win. And if I don't, it'll still be worth it because I'll still know I'm in great shape. I still know I'm, I, um, I will win races one day, and I still know that I can um, win, a real, win really anything I put my mind to if I work hard for it. All right, guys, so that's probably going to do it up for this block here, and um, let's now move on to the next one. All right, guys, and in this last and final block of this video, uh, I'm just going to talk about a couple smaller races that I would love to win one day. Um, some of these races include the Falmouth Road, the Falmouth Road Race, which is a seven miler, um, the High Street Mile, which is a one miler up in Seabrook. I go on vacation there every single year, so I run the mile there. Uh, the Bay State Half Marathon and Marathon, and the Cheap Half Marathon and Marathon. Cheap is where I actually broke, or. I think I broke the American record in uh, the half marathon in my division. Uh, that's nine to ten. That's ten year old boys half marathon for the for the American record. So yeah, um, let's talk. Let's get right into those races. Um, so for the Falmouth Road Race, I was going to run that race last year. I never ended up doing it because I think it I think it got canceled because of COVID. Um, but yeah, I would love to do this one. I don't know if I'm going to do it this year. I might do it next year. I might do it this year, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, so this one, I really hope to win. It's once again, you don't think of it as a very competitive race. It is. You can run some pretty fast times. I mean, you can see people run some pretty fast times for these seven milers. So it's a pretty competitive race. And um, I, I think I could win this one day. And I really do hope to win it one day. I will work hard. I will put my mind to it, and I will def. And I think I can win it one day. Whether it takes me a lifetime or whether it, I get it on the first try, um, I'm gonna win it one day, and I can pretty much assure myself that. Um, next one, Bay State Half Marathon and Marathon. Uh, so Bay State, once again, as I already mentioned, is the race where I ran my first half marathon. Uh, that half marathon was my best half marathon ever for a little while until I went to cheap. Obviously, everything changed after cheap. But, um, so yeah, I really do hope, I haven't run the marathon there yet because I'm not ready to win a marathon yet. But when I finally do, I want to win, I want to win both the half marathon and marathon. Like the Falmouth Road Race, I'm going to work hard. I'm going to put my mind to it. And I'm going to just, um, I, I want to win. I want to win both of them one day, and I can pretty much, and I can, I think I can very much accomplish that. It's a very accomplishable goal, I would say, and uh, I really do think I can win it. So, yeah, guys, that's probably it for Bay State. 
the base day half marathon and marathon. Uh, next one, High Street Mile. The High Street Mile, as I just said, you, it's up in Seabrook. I vacation there every single year up there, so that's what, that's the only reason I actually run that. I probably wouldn't run it if I didn't vacation there. But uh, other than that, um, yeah, I've run some pretty fast times for that race. My times have definitely improved because I ha I've had two full years to improve because this will be, I didn't run it last year. Actually, no, I have three, I've had three years because I missed it the year before that because I we went the wrong way and last year was COVID so I didn't have it. So I missed it for two years, which means I've had a full three, either three or four years to get be better at the mile and I definitely have. Um, but I think I can definitely run a better time. Uh, I And I one day hope to win this. If I set my mind to it, I think about it hard, I train hard for it, and I upgrade my speed on my mile. I definitely think I can um, do great things in this race, and I definitely think I can win it one day. Last and final race, the cheap half marathon and marathon. This is probably... My, the most decorated race for me right now, mostly because I broke, I hopefully broke my American record. I don't know for sure. That's why I'm saying hopefully broke. But um, yeah, so everything changed when I went to that race. Uh, that that was only my second half marathon um, in, of my life. So yeah, um, how I want to win both Lake Bay State, the half marathon and marathon. Uh, they're both um, a desire of mine to win. This is a very competitive race, and it can get really fast. I mean, when I was running the cheap half marathon, I would see the marathon guys just whip by on their way back to the finish line. I mean, they were they were moving, guys. Like, they were not joking around. They were moving pretty good. So, yeah, this can be a very competitive race, both the half marathon and marathon. So, yeah, um, I'm going to work hard. I'm going to put my mind to it, and I'm going to hopefully win this one day. Alright guys, and that's probably going to wrap it up for this video. So, yeah. Alright guys, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, I know I did. I definitely enjoyed um, sharing my dream races with you guys. And I hope you, li I hope you liked hearing about my dream races, how I was going to accomplish them. And um, I hope you guys learned a couple new races. Maybe you did. Maybe, maybe you knew, and maybe you just didn't know if, what my opinions on them. Or maybe you learned a couple new races. So, I hope you liked the video. Uh, stick around for the quote today. And, um, yeah, that's probably going to wrap it up for today's video. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out.